To begin training, we'll focus on individual skills that rescuers perform. It's most effective to perform CPR as a team. However, to be an effective team member, you'll need to possess the individual skills of CPR. So we'll start there. As a healthcare provider, your first step is to assess the surroundings for safety. Then tap and shout to determine responsiveness. If there is no response, you should shout for nearby help or activate the emergency response system in your workplace. Check for breathing by scanning the victim's chest, looking for chest rise. Check a carotid pulse. The technique of feeling for the carotid pulse is usually easier to perform on the side closest to you, the rescuer. Locate the victim's trachea by using two or three fingers and then slide your fingers into the groove just to one side of the trachea where you can feel the carotid pulse. You can scan for breathing and check a pulse simultaneously to minimize time before first compression. The check for breathing and pulse should take at least five, but no more than 10 seconds. If you observe no breathing, abnormal breathing, or only gasping, and you do not definitely feel a pulse, ensure that help is on the way and start chest compressions immediately. In this practice session, you will first check for scene safety. When the scene is safe, approach the victim and tap and shout to determine responsiveness. If the victim does not respond, yell for nearby help and check for breathing and a pulse. If there is no breathing or only gasping and no pulse, ensure that help and an AED are on the way and immediately begin CPR starting with chest compressions. We'll pause here before we practice checking for scene safety, responsiveness, breathing, and pulse. So position yourself to the side of your mannequin to practice. The instructor can begin when everyone's ready.